Pilates aerobics. Today I'd like you to start by lying on your back. So we're doing a Pilates session which means no shoes, just socks or bare feet. And going over your posture. So you separate the feet, the ankles, the knees and the hips are in line. Hands relaxed by your side. Beginners, you might want to close your eyes to help you concentrate on what I'm saying. And you begin by gently rocking the pelvis forward and backwards. That's tucks and arches. Gently mobilising the muscles of the lower back. It's a very small movement, but notice there is a very distinct difference between a tuck and between an arch. Okay, now relax. And as you relax, allow the pelvis to settle into a position that's between the tuck and the arch. That's called a neutral pelvis. And you'll be aware when you're in that neutral pelvis, the tailbone is gently resting on the ground. If you continue travelling up the spine, you'll feel a natural curve in your lower back followed by the rib cage gently resting on the ground. There'll be a natural curve of the neck. And lastly, the back of the head gently resting on the ground. And in that position, think of gently dropping the chin towards the throat, long through the neck. And that entire position is called your neutral spine. Now holding that neutral spine position, take a deep breath in to the back of your lungs, into the side of your ribs and the abdominals. Feel everything inflate. And then as you breathe out, relax, feeling a natural drop through the ribs and through the abdominals. Try that again, this is deep, healthy breathing. Into the back, into the side of the ribs and the abdominals. And as you breathe out, relax, feeling a natural drop through the ribs and through the abdominals. Okay, again, take a deep breath in, fill those lungs. And as you breathe out, drop the ribs and draw the navel down into the spine, narrowing the waist. Hold that position, keep the neutral spine, and now let it go, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, allow the ribs to drop, and draw the narrow navel down to the spine, narrowing the waist. Good. Okay, now feel Pilates breathing. Hold the navel to the spine as you breathe into the back of the lungs and the side of the ribs. Then as you breathe out, drop the ribs down towards the waist and the hips. Again, keep the navel to the spine, take a breath into the back of your lungs and the side of the ribs. And as you breathe out, funnel the ribs down towards the waist and the hips. Good, now try and maintain that Pilates breathing for me. Hands are down by the side, keep the navel to the spine as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, use your abdominals to flatten the back down, lift the coccyx and roll the spine all the way up into the air. Until you've got one long line between the knees, the hips and the shoulders. All the way through here, take a breath in, and as you breathe out, slowly roll down. Softly through the chest, feel the back of the ribs come down into the ground. Then through the rest of the spine and last of the pelvis. Relax the pelvis in neutral, keep the navel to the spine and breathe in. Breathe out using your abdominals, flat and lift and roll. And try and keep both eyes parallel to each other. The whole journey up, the whole journey down. Take a breath in. And breathe out slowly down. Make sure the chin remains down so the back of the neck is long. Take a breath in. Now watch carefully on this next one. As you breathe out, use your abdominals, flatten, lift and roll the spine all the way up. Stretch long through the knees and hips. And take a breath in as you reach the top. This time as you breathe out, I'd like you to slowly roll down towards the front hip. Roll down the fleshy side of the back until the hip touches the ground and then return up to the centre, breathing in. And breathe out, gently roll the back hip down, vertebra by vertebra, and breathing in, and breathe out, roll down the centre. Relaxing, keep all ten toes on the ground, fingers stretching towards those toes, breathe in. And as you breathe out, use your abdominals, flatten the back, lift the coccyx and roll the spine up. Take a breath in as you reach the top, let's do that one again. As you breathe out, slowly lower the front hip down, roll down the fleshy side of the back, and as you breathe in, return up to the centre. And then breathe out, roll down the fleshy side of the back to the back hip. And breathe in, roll up to centre. And now breathe out, roll down. And take a breath in. Let's make a full circle out of that. As you breathe out, use your abdominals. Flatten the back, lift the coccyx and roll the spine up. Stretch long through the knees and hips, breathe in. And breathe out, slowly lower the front hip down. Roll down the fleshy side of the back. Now from there, as you breathe in, roll across the ground, through the centre to the back hip. And then you roll all the way up, completing a full circle. You take a breath in as you reach the top, and then breathe out, slowly roll it down. Think of sending the knees, sending the hips away from you, so you're lengthening through each vertebra. Take a breath in. And again, breathe out, keep the waist narrow, drop, lift, and roll it up. Take a breath in. Now let's start the circle in the other direction. So you lower the back hip down, roll down the fleshy side of the back, and then roll through the center to the front hip, and then continue rolling all the way up. Take a breath in, and breathe out, roll. Roll it all the way down. Great. Okay, now gently wind it down. Well done. Now after the break, we'll be coming back with some abdominals. See you soon.
welcome back. Now you know you're going to have a towel handy for this next one. So lie down on your sides. And we're going to be focusing on the muscles of the waist, a little bit of your inner thigh as well. Begin by placing the towel between the neck and the shoulder. Now that brings the neck up into a position we call neutral, which is very similar to what we were talking about lying on the back. From there also you draw the underneath waist up off the ground. So from the coccyx through to the crown of the head you've got one long line. No dips. Alright, now from there bring the legs forward and that protects the lower back. Draw the navel to the spine, narrow the waist again, keep the hand down by the chest and take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift the legs, stretching the toes away from the hips and as you breathe in, lower it down. And as you breathe out, lift, stretch the toes away from the hips and breathe in, come down. As you come down, keep the feet just off the ground and breathe out, lift three and then breathe in, lower down. Breathe out, lift four. Now think about that top shoulder for me, keep it away from the ears. Breathe out, lift five and check that waist is still lifted. Breathe out, lift six. Now some of you who are more advanced in the audience, seven, we want to make this one a little bit harder now. Try with that hand up into the air like so. Eight. And therefore you have to work on your balance as well. And again, nine. Now keep it up there if you'd like to make it harder. And one more, ten. Okay, now lift the top leg on its own. Lift the bottom leg up to meet it. Stretch the toes out of the hips and lower down. Again, as you breathe out, lift, lift. Breathe in, lower down, but keep the feet just off the ground still. Breathe in, three, and lower down. Four, and lower lower down. Five, again, make sure that shoulder stays away from the ear. Six, lift, both hips are stacked one on top of another. And lower down. Eight, lift, down. Nine, lift, down. One more ten. Keep the last one up there, flex both feet, sending the heels away from you and lengthen the top leg up on its own. Point the feet and draw it together, squeezing your inner thighs. Flex, send the heels away from you, point together. Breathe out three, breathe in, reach the toes together. Send the heels away four, breathing in. Breathe out five. Now remember if you'd like to make it harder, if you feel the have, you have the balance six, take that hand up into the air. And again seven, reach. And again eight, has everyone still got that navel? Up off the ground, nine, one more, ten, great. All right, now coming down, you may have felt those waist muscles working, I hope so. Now let's come up, change over to the other side. Again, place that towel underneath the shoulder, lift the underneath waist once more. Keep the top hand down. If you'd like to make it harder, feel free to take that hand up, but make sure you keep the shoulder away from the ear. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, lift both legs up, stretching out through the toes and hips, and breathe and come down. And again, breathe out, lift two, Breathe in, lower down. And again, breathe out, lift three. Make sure the underneath waist remains the same at all times. Four. Be careful as you lift the legs that the waist doesn't drop down to the ground like that. Five. And lower. Six. And lower. Seven. Lengthen the toes away from the hips. And again, eight. Top shoulder is away from the ear. Breathe out, nine. Breathing in one more like this. Breathe out, ten. And adding in the legs, lift the top leg on its own, lift the bottom leg to meet it and lower down. And again, two. Lift and lower. Lift the top leg, keep it still as you lift the bottom leg and down. Four, lift and down. Five, lift and down. Breathe out, breathe in. Seven, lift and down. Eight, lift and down. Nine, stretch it out, one more. 10, okay, now from there, flex the feet, send the heels away from the hips, check the underneath waist, lift the top leg up, point and reach away. And again, two, breathing in, breathe out three, breathe in, reach together. Breathe out four, reach together. And again, five, top shoulder away from the ear. And again, six, and lift, lift those underneath waist a little bit more. Seven, and together keeping a long spine. Together, two more, breathing out. And together, one more, breathing out. And together, and relax it in. Now let's go back to the first side. Put the towels away, and the next exercise is called the side kick. Now we've been working on strengthening these muscles. This is gonna test whether you can maintain that or not. You've got the shoulder directly underneath the elbow or should I say elbow directly underneath your shoulder. You've got both feet flexed, slight in front of you, and you lift the top leg up. 
Now from there, keeping this very still, take the front leg forward, sending out through the heel, and then point the foot, stretch it back. Focus is keeping this, still without moving. And then back, and it tests whether you've really got the idea of how to work the waist muscles while you're lying on your side. And again, four, breathing out, breathing in, breathe out five. Breathing in, breathe out six, breathing in, and again seven, and eight. We've got two more of these and then we'll go to the other side. Nine, good, and ten. Great, now after the break we'll be coming back with some legs. See you soon. You need to have your towels handy again. So lie down on your sides for me. Place that towel between the neck and shoulder, as we did before the break. So you're bringing that spine or the neck into a neutral position. And now think of drawing again that waist up. Bring the knees into a position where you've got 90 degrees at the knee and 90 degrees at the hip. Stretch out the top leg, rotate the heel up to the sky and the toe to face down towards the ground. Think of again stretching through the heels so you create a little pocket of space in here and you grow two inches taller. Take a breath in in that position and as you breathe out lift the heel and then as you breathe in lower down. And again lift it up and lower down. The top hand is down in front of the chest, three, and down and again of course that shoulder's away from the knee fall. Breathing in, breathe out five. Maintain the narrow waist, breathe out six. Breathing and focusing on the muscles around the thigh. And down. Breathe out eight, breathing in. Breathe out nine, breathing in. Breathe out 10, breathing in. As you breathe out, draw the leg all the way forward. Lift it up a little, take it down and carry it back to the side. And again, carry forward two. Make sure you keep the top hip open as you carry that leg forward. Always maintaining the posture for me. Three, lift, and return. Four, lift, lower, and return. Breathe out as you come forward. Five, lift, lower, breathe in, return. Breathe out six, lift, lower, breathe in, return. Breathe out seven, this should be starting to burn. And return. Breathe out eight, check the underneath waist. Keep it nice and high for me. And two more. Nine, and down. Breathe out 10, lift, lower. Keep those hips stacked, keep the top hip open. Now take that leg forward to a 45 degree incline, and now lifts on its own. Two, let's make them a little faster. Three, focus more on keeping those hips still. Four, five, the faster we make it, the harder it is to keep them still. Okay, now take that leg all the way forward. And again, one, two, Three, top hip open, four, five, six, seven, keep that navel to the spine, nine, ten, and relax, keep that thigh up. Okay, let's go to the other side. Sitting up, once again place the towel between the neck and shoulder. 90 degrees at the hip, 90 degrees at the knee, lift the underneath waist, keep the top hip open and straighten the leg. Rotate the heel to the ceiling and the toe down, take a breath in and as you breathe out lift and lengthen, breathe in down, breathe out two, breathe in down, breathe out three, check the top shoulder and again four, also that you remain open through the chest, five, the hips stacked one on top of another, six, slowly down, breathe out seven, breathing in, breathe out eight, Breathing in, breathe out nine, breathing in, and 10. Okay, now working forward into that sweep, keep the top hip open, lift, lower, and breathe in, return to the side. Breathe out two, lift, lower, return to the side. And again, three, lift, lower, you should be feeling that thighs working, and again, five, lift, lower, and to the side. Again, six, lift, lower, to the side. Breathe out seven, up, down and to the side. Eight, check the underneath waist again for me. Nine, lift, lower. And again, 10. Okay, now coming forward into that 45 degree incline. Keep the breathing natural. We're going to do this one a little faster. Lift, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, youch. Okay, take it all the way forward and again. One, two, three, four, five. Keep those hips square. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Great. Okay, now sitting up, you need to stretch out those muscles you've just been working. Let's try cross legged. Nice and high, reach the fingertips out in front of you. If any of you are tight through the back and you're finding it hard to sit up tall, I'd like you to take your towels and sit on top of the towel. Gives you a little bit of extra height so that you can start with a long spine. Again, always thinking of the posture first and Pilates. If you know you're okay without a towel, then keep it to one side. From there, walk the fingers all the way forward. Keeping the long back until you feel that stretch, particularly in one side. If you're not feeling the stretch, you need to make it just a little bit harder. So for that one, you take the ankle over the opposite knee. Make sure you've got the ankle all the way over this way. Rather than here, where you stretch out the side of the ankle and move into the stretch. Okay, anyone happy with that first stretch, just stay there. Now you should feel that work in the muscles. Took me on one side. Coming out of that, let's go to the other side. Now you already know which stretch is better for you. Sitting up nice and tall, walk forward. Great, and stretching out the muscles we've just been working. Remember to make it harder if you need to. That's great. Okay, now we're going to a break now and we'll come back with a cool down for you. See you soon. Welcome back. In this segment, I'd like to focus on strengthening the muscles of your back. So start by lying on your tummies. You'll need just to have your towel still handy. So that when you put your head down, you can rest it without knocking your nose off, okay? Now before we get started into the spine extension, a stretch for the front of the thighs. Rest your head down and bring your top leg, bring the heel back towards the bottom for me. In that position, relaxing. Pressing that heel down and think of pressing your pubic bone down into the ground to make that stretch a little bit stronger. If you need to make it stronger again, bring the sides of your knees together. And that should be stretching out through the front of the thigh. And now relax. Do the other side. Bring that back heel in. Relax your head on your hand. Squeeze the bottom as you press the heel down towards it and also press the pubic bone once again down into the ground to make that stretch stronger. And to make it stronger again, you bring the sides of the knees together. And then relax. Good. Okay, now going over your spinal posture, I've taught you how to work a neutral spine and pelvis while lying on your back. You also need to work it on your side, which I've taught you as well, and now on your tummy. So put your toes together, swing the heels apart, and in that position, gently press your pubic bone down towards the ground until the pubic bone and the two hip bones sit on an equal plane. There's your neutral pelvis and then relax. Try that again. Pubic bone down until the pubic bone and the two hip bones are on an equal plane. You've got it again. And now relax. Let's do one more, just to get that right into your body. Gently press the pubic bone down until the pubic bone and two hip bones are on the equal plane. Now I need you to hold that for me. Think of drawing up the pelvic floor muscles, drawing in the waist muscles, that's narrowing your waist, and hold that position for the rest of this session. Gently press the towel away from you. Rest your head on your hands and take a breath in. As you breathe out, push onto your elbows, drawing the shoulders down the back. We're just working your upper thoracic area, that's your upper ribs, and as you breathe in, lower down. And again, breathe out, lift up. Think of keeping the chin slightly tucked towards the throat so the back of the neck remains long. And breathe in, lower down. And breathe out, lift. It's very important that the neck is an extension of your spine rather than arched up like so, and breathe in. Let's do two more of those. Breathe out, push, drop the shoulders down the back. If you've still got the neutral pelvis or if you've forgotten about it, breathing in and breathing out, keeping that neck nice and long. All right, now adding in some arms. Lower the head down. This time as you lift, I'd like you to keep the hands connected to your forehead. Take a breath in as you breathe out, lift it. And as you breathe in, lower it down. As you breathe out, lift it. Now again, check you've still got that neutral pelvis. Breathe in, lower it down. 
and breathe out three. We've got five of these. Breathe in, lower down. Breathe out four. Breathe in, lower down. And breathe out five. And relax. And the next thing moves into a pivot. Place again the hands in the same position. Your head down on your hands. Take a breath in as you breathe out, lift up. Now this time, as you breathe in, you take the front elbow towards the front hip, make sure the back hip remains still and secure, and then you come back to the centre. As you breathe in, you pivot to the back, breathe out, return to your centre position, and breathe in, lower down. Breathe out, lift, and breathe in, pivot to the front, and coming back. Pivot to the back, coming back, and lower down. Now if anyone's feeling a lower back because you're not strong enough, I'd like you to stop. Lifting up and pivot to the front. Breathe out, draw it to the center, and breathe in, pivot to the back. Breathe out, draw it to the center. Breathe in, let's do one more. Breathe out, lift it up, and breathing in. Keep that head down, keep the neck long, other side. Breathe out, bring it to center, and lower down. If you're still with me, bring the towel back into the forehead. If you feel that the lower back's starting to get a little tired, you come back into a position we call the rest position. You just get to hang out there. Everyone else, head down your towel. Make sure that you can clear your nose so it's comfortable. Have the hands out in front of you. Bring the legs into a parallel position now so the backs of the knees and the soles of the feet face up towards the sky. The head starts down. You take a breath in. Check your neutral pelvis. As you breathe out, lift the front arm and the back leg. And as you breathe in, lower down. Now just for now, keep your head on the towel. And breathing out and down. And again, up and down. And again, up. Good. Well done. Now that's all we've got time for today. So I'll see you again soon.